Let me show you everything you need to know about the new and free interactive polls and quizzes in Canva. First of all, let me show you where to find these polls and quizzes. From the editor, you're going to go to Elements on the left panel. And from here, if you scroll down, you will see the new section called Polls and Quizzes. When you click See All, you will see the two different categories in here. And then you can click again See All to see each of these categories. And to bring one of these elements to your design, you simply need to click on the one that you like and then you're gonna start customizing it so let me create a new page so i can show you everything that you can do with these polls and quizzes so i think i'm gonna start by adding a quiz but before i wanted to mention the difference between quizzes and polls quizzes have right and wrong answers these are better to test somebody's knowledge on the other hand polls are typically used to collect opinions or feedback so let me show you a quiz let me click see all and in here as we are testing somebody else's knowledge we are going to ask questions so for example here you can ask a yes or no question or you can type a statement and ask them if the statement is true or false and then you have so many other options in here so for example you will add your statement which best describes the statement above always true sometimes true always false and then you will be able to submit your answer and I do suggest that you go over all of these options because these are going to give you a lot of ideas on how to use these quizzes. Okay, so let me bring one of these. Let me add this one to the design and I'm going to show you everything that you can customize on it. By having the quiz selected, you have now two new buttons. The one to edit the quiz and then you have the button to see the responses of this quiz. So let me show you edit. From here, you'll be able to customize the head so the text that you see in here let me show you quickly customize the header and then you also have the option to actually remove the header by deactivating this toggle in here so when you click it is gone and then when you activate it it comes back this one could be interesting if you are going to add the header in the design. So let me, for example, take this copy here. Let me deactivate the header. And then I'm going to add a text box, add my header in here. And then you can use any font in the library, or you can also use a branded font if you have a brand kit. I'm going to delete this and bring the header back. I'm showing you this because in the header in here, we cannot change the fonts. So that's why I showed you how to add the text box and maybe customize it the way that you want. Now, because we are working on a quiz, we need to select the right option. You can add different options to your quiz, but then select only one right one. And you do it by clicking on the three dots that you have next to the option. And then you're going to click mark as correct. As you can see, we have more options under this menu. When you click on the three dots, you can also move up or down your options. So let's say that I'm going to move the option yes down and down. You can add more options from here. So this one works the same as this button. I'm just adding new options. And then you can also duplicate the option that you have selected in here. And then next to the three dots, you have the trash can to delete options so let me delete this that we have in here and bring this one up and mark it as correct and the last thing that you can customize in here is the text that is inside this button what I like about this is that you can add emojis so let me add a rocket I believe adding a little emoji adds something fun to your quiz and polls so that's why I'm showing you that this is a possibility now next to the edit button we have responses and because i just created this quiz we don't have any information on this one but let me go to page one and select this option in here this one actually is a poll but let me show you how this looks so i'm clicking on responses and from here you can see the percentages of the people that have voted on this poll and then here you can see the name of the person voting it will appear as anonymous if the person voting didn't log in into their account but if they were logged into their account 
you will see their names in here. You can see their response and then the time and the date when they voted. You can download these responses as a CSV file and then when you click on these three dots you have the option to reset all responses. You want to be careful with this one because if you click here you're going to delete all of your data. Now let me go back to page two because there is more customization that you can do in here. So I'm going to click again on the quiz and then next to responses you will have colors. So you can adjust the colors on this quiz. I'm going to click on the purple one and why not? Let's change it for pink and this one as well, lighter pink. And then you have a border color. And in this quiz in particular, we have no border. So that's why we don't see anything here. It's supposed to be purple, but let's add a border so you can see the color on the outside. And let me change it to yellow so you can see it clearly. You can, of course, remove the border if you don't want it. And you can also play with the corner rounding so you can make it even more rounded or you can make it straight. Something that I found fun is that you can add transparency to these polls and quizzes. You can animate them. You can, of course, change their position and you can copy and paste their style. So let me move this quiz to the side and let me bring a poll. So let's add this green one here. Let me put it to the side and I'm going to copy the style of this quiz and paste it on this one. And as you can see, we have applied the same colors and the corner style with just one click. And now that I have a poll on this design, let me show you something interesting because when you are working with quizzes, you go to edit. From here, you can select the correct answer, but because on polls we are trying to collect opinions and feedbacks, we don't have that option. There is not right or wrong answer. So when I click on the poll and then go to edit, you will see that when I click on the three dots, we don't have the option to select a right answer but you do have the other options in here so you can remove the header if you want you can customize it from here you can customize all of the options of course you can delete them you can add more options and there is something else that is different in here we don't have the button to submit the answer so you can see a clear example in here the poll with no button and the quiz on the right with the button Once your quizzes and polls are ready to be shared, you are going to follow these steps. You're going to click on share on top of the screen and then click public view link. From here, you are going to copy this link. And this is the link that you are going to share with your students, your audience, colleagues, or anybody that you want to send this to. Now, let me show you what others are going to see when they receive this link. So I'm going to paste the link in here, hit enter, and I see here a poll. So which kind of location do you prefer for the next holidays? Option one, two, and three. Let's say that I'm going for option two. As you can see, the element that we have having here is a poll as we don't have a submit button. So once I click on any of these options, my vote is going to be sent and I won't be able to change it. So let me click on option two. And as you can see, I'm clicking on these other options and I cannot change it anymore. And the cool thing is that after voting, I can see the percentages of what people have voted for. And I can also see in here how many people have voted. Now let me go to the second page because I have in here a quiz. So what is the name of this asana? You need to choose one of these options, but this is a quiz. We have a submit button. So I can choose one of these. And then if I change my mind, you know, it's a quiz. I'm not quite sure. You are then going to click the option that you believe is the correct. And then you can click submit. And as you can see, I have selected the correct one and my response has been saved. And quizzes work exactly the same as polls. Once you have submitted your answer or your response, you cannot change your answer. So as you can see, my response has been saved and I cannot do anything else. If I click on the other options, there is no way that I can change it. The only way to be able to submit again my answer is to reset all responses. So let me go back to the Canva document. I'm going to select this option right here, go to responses and if I want
want my students, let's say, to submit their answers again, I will need to go here to the three dots, pay attention to my answers in here. This is the data that I have so far. I can see three people have voted, two correct, one incorrect. So I'm going to click on the three dots, reset all responses. Remember that you are going to delete all the data that you have in here. So I'm clicking, you will see that reset all three responses, responses will be deleted and no one will be able to see the old responses. You will be able to undo this if this is a mistake. So let me go and cancel it. If you really need to keep this information here, remember that you can download it as a CSV file. So clicking on the three dots, deleting, reset all responses. So this quiz now has zero answers and let me go back to this link right here and reload the page. And as you can see, the quiz has been reset and I can go again and select any of the other answers. Let's select a wrong one this time and see what happens. So I know that this is incorrect, but let's submit it just for the fun of it. I'm going to submit. And as you can see, this is interesting because I can see that my answer is incorrect, but at the same time, I'm able to see the correct answer. So I'm learning at the same time. Now let me show you something interesting because at this moment I'm using an incognito window. I am not logged in into my Canva account and I was able to submit my answer. If I'm not logged in that means that my answer is going to be submitted with an anonymous name. So let me go back to the document and reload the page. Now let me go to page two, go to the quiz and responses. You can see now that the responder, my answer, the one that I just submitted, has been recorded as anonymous. But if I were to open this link, the one that we created here, the public link, with a Canva account where I am logged in, you will be able to see my name. So let me do it quickly. This time I'm logged in into my account and let me go to page two, select one of the options and submit. Now let me go back to the editor, load again the page and let's see the answers. This time you can see my name because I voted while being logged in into my Canva account. Now let's talk about the limitations. There is actually no limit on how many people can vote on your polls or quizzes and how many answers can be collected. There is a limit though on how many of these quizzes and polls you can add on a page. So I have created here a new page and let me go to elements. Let's go to polls and quizzes and you won't be able to add more than 10 of these elements. So let me go to a quiz and add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So you see you are approaching the limit of polls and quizzes on the page. So I'm inserting one more quiz and then I have this message right here. This page exceeds the limit of 10 polls and quizzes. Changes won't be saved until you delete one poll or quiz. So in this case, I will need to delete one and you will see that this message changes. So I'm deleting one and then you will see this message that says that you are reaching the limit. Now let me delete these elements here and let's work with just one because there is also a limit on how many options you add on a quiz or a poll. So let's go to edit and in this quiz we have one, two, three, four options and what happens if we try to add more than 10? So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and as you can see this button is disabled when you try to add 11 options to the quiz or the poll. There is another limit that you need to have into consideration. You can only use up to 20 quizzes and polls per design. In this case I have 10 on this page and then I have one on these other pages. So in total I have 12 on this design. So let me add a new page and we should be able to add up to eight quizzes and polls in this page. So let me go to elements and this time let's add polls. Okay, so let's start adding polls. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see now we have a message. You are approaching the limit of polls and quizzes on the document. Let me add a couple more and 
now you see okay so we got the message it says your design exceeds the limit of 20 polls or quizzes changes won't be saved until you delete three polls or quizzes so we are exceeding these limits by three polls i have deleted them and i think we are saved now and another limitation that you need to have into consideration is that you can use these elements quizzes and polls on all doc types except docs and websites. And before we finish the video, I want to give you a couple of ideas on how to use these quizzes and polls, but I really want you to leave me some more ideas in the comments. You could add quizzes on presentations for trivia nights, icebreakers, webinars. If you're giving classes, you can quiz your students, or you could create polls to get feedback from your audience, colleagues, students, or even friends. To continue learning about Canva, make sure to check our Canva Master Course. I'm leaving the QR code in here, but also the link on the screen and also in the description of this video. On the other hand, if you want to continue watching free tutorials, make sure to subscribe and I'm also going to leave you here a tutorial I'm sure you are going to love. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!